We're going to close tonight with music that embodies Stillwater and Oklahoma State University. The song we're going to close with is going to be On a Cloud. You guys have been here for a long time, and I've come out here and I've told this story, and we'll do it again next year. Um, but all the parts of this story are true. Um, uh, on, uh, the day that, that the 2001 plane crash happened, Ross Dagg and Rag, we uh, released live and loud at the Wormy Dog. Uh, no, we released 377 at the Wormy Dog. Um, and it's also true that I was the sports editor at the Ocali, and I have been after the basketball team, and specifically the media relations director, Will Hancock, to join them. And then he said he was um, playing, and I said, well, I should go to this concert instead. And this is the first time that I've ever got a chance to stand in front of you guys and tie that all together. Um, because that was an awful night and an awful time, and all of the people that were involved in that have, have left legacies. Um, and I was, I was a classmate of Nate Fleming's and Daniel Lawson, and um, Bill Teagans brought basketball to us and to Cody, and here's the back though, my perspective was through the Hancock family. Will Hancock was the media relations director that I was badgering. Karen Hancock was the Oklahoma State soccer coach, and she was the first sport that I ever covered. I didn't know them as well as I tell people I did, but... Hey, y'all shut the fuck up, listen. I didn't know them as well as I tell people I did. But in the 20 years that have passed, something has happened. That has been that the spirit of this university and this community has not, not changed, but it enhanced itself around that. And the concept of uh, remembering not just that incident, but all the ones that have happened in Stillwater and Oklahoma State. And... I, while I didn't know those too well, there is a member of that family that I did become really good friends with. And a couple of years ago, I reached out to a person that had been, uh, just like myself, a journalist, and had been um, writing essays at the, um, at the anniversary of that event. And it, it touched me and it moved me, and a couple of years ago, I got the guts to reach out. And I want all of you to meet, I don't know if it's possible for your heroes to be 20 years younger than me. But this person was born um, about three months before that, that plane crash happened, and she is the daughter of Will and Karen Hancock. And she is, if Cody is my oldest friend in the world, this is my newest friend in the world. And everything is tied together tonight to me, and I want all of you to just please cheer on, and just uh, one round of applause for Andrea Hancock. Yeah! This is what this is what all of that been. And um, Co Cody wrote on a cloud three days after that. And and when I look back on it now, all I can think is not not just Will, but everybody that was involved in that. It's a great legacy to leave, and it's a great reason to go out and beat Texas tomorrow. To live the sort of life that makes somebody want to write on a cloud about you. That's it. That's what we're here for, and that's why we play. <laughs> So this guy wrote a book, it's called Red Dirt, and you should buy it. It's the real deal, man. All right, thank you very much, Crutch. I love you, buddy, with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. Thank you so much for coming and listening to what we're doing. I know the crowd ebbs and flows with the night, and everybody is like, somebody gets too drunk early, somebody can't wait to go all night. Some people like worried that if we get too drunk tonight, we can't do it tomorrow. Bullshit, you can do whatever you want. But thank you for uh, for staying with us in the waves. If you if you rode the wave of the crowd all night and you've been here for the most of the night, these guys right here, thank you very much. Be good to each other, and uh, I love you. Can I say that I love you, Stuart?
Saloon when it was over there a long time ago. Take 